Um, great, great game tonight. Unfortunate uh, ending there. Did you feel there was a turning point uh, with Gary going out in the fourth quarter, being ejected? Do you think maybe with, that, with him on the on the court, you might have been able to pull that one out? Yeah, we'll never know. Um, I don't even know exactly what the score was at that time, but I know he was great at the beginning of the third, instrumental both ends, um, and then made a bonehead play. So, yeah, we'll we'll never know. I mean, the guys who uh, remained with us uh, played their hearts out and um, gave us every chance, but we just couldn't get it done. Yeah. Do you think it came to came down to anything specifically, not being able to get it done defensively in the first half, potentially? Huge, huge first quarter. We just didn't, didn't get stops, and, and we were scoring freely for a while there, but when you're just going back and forth, it's just whoever makes more shots, and they did in that first quarter, and, and then missing free throws, uh, missing layups, or, or taking shots, contested shots that can be kicked out to others that are open. Um, there was kind of a smattering of all that. Uh, Owen? Uh, do you feel as a player there was you guys obviously fought fought your heart, hearts out there, but was there anything looking back on the on the game now that you think you'd go back and do differently? Um, I think yeah, like what Mike said a little bit, just capitalising on opportunities they gave us, like they let us back into the game, um, and then there was multiple possessions where I'd say we got good shots or second chance opportunities, and we kind of threw it away a little bit, um, and then that resulted in transition points down the other way for them. So. I think just locking in and taking cha- taking like um, what's, the, what's the word taking opportunity of mm-hmm. what they give us. Do you feel your team at any point was a bit flustered by some potential foul calls that could have gone in your favour? Um, sort of weathered that storm quite well. Um, I think in the first half, definitely. Um, it's been something that we've been harping on for for a long time. Um, guys just need to we just need to learn to get off the refs a little bit more, um, and we look way better when we do so. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike, do you, would you say the win, uh, so the loss tonight, would come down to more the way Brisbane played so well in, in front of their home home fans, or was there things that you think that in, you could really control and that could have completely changed the game? Uh, Bris- Brisbane played well, played with great energy, um, played great attacking basketball. So I think that's that's what I would say about them. I think they're a, a solid team that's really talented, and uh, and they took advantage of those opportunities um, that we didn't. Um, you know, I think there was plenty of things that we could have done better, um, including, you know, handling, handling um, kind of the atmosphere and um, the physicality and just handling everything a little bit better. And, and if we don't do that, then we're going to be a sub-500 team. Um, if we are able to do that, we're a really talented team, especially when we get our whole group together. and. Uh, yeah, and we'll make a push. Um, Owen, uh, what did you make of Mitch Creek's return tonight? Um, <clears throat> it's always good to have Creaky back on the yeah. floor. Just the type of player he is, like leads from the front, offensively and defensively. Um, obviously, with timeout, he's got to have time to adjust, but he was great again tonight. Awesome. Chris, you're welcome to jump in. Mike, a lot to digest after that. I mean, both, both Al and Abdul were able to play out the game until Abdul fouled out, but they both were sore. Do you know how Al is with his knee and Abdul it looked like it might have been his hand? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Al's, Al's kind of, I think, with his knee, he's, he's been soldiering on through some, uh, some swelling, and uh, he's actually been pretty amazing uh, in my eyes to... The way he's got up for games, and uh, you know, but I think it does affect him some. You can see him not moving as freely at times, um, and uh, I don't, I don't know what happened with uh, Abdul's hand. I didn't, I didn't see what happened there. Have you had a chance to talk to Gary yet? Because I mean, he's usually such a such a composed player out there, and like you said, he was having a big impact on you getting back into the game. Have you had a chance to talk to him yet about what happened, or what I did. did you say when you when you talked to him? Yeah, that's. I'm not going to go into what I'm going to say. I I thought we handled the situation poorly, and that was Gary in that situation. Um, That's kind of what I said in a nutshell. How surprised were you when you saw saw what saw what happened on the replay? All all was surprised your reaction. (laughs) Well, 
Yeah, I was surprised. I'm always surprised when someone um, does something out of character um, and that goes to the detriment of their team. It just, um, you know, selfish plays really surprised me. So um, from, from a guy like Gary, who's a great guy um, and loves his teammates. So, yeah, really surprised. We talked on Christmas about how that was a win based on effort, and I felt like tonight the effort was there. I mean, you gave yourselves a chance to win a game when you weren't shooting well and you missed the free, th missed free throws like you talked about, but I felt like you gave yourselves a chance because you kept fighting. Is, is that a, is that a And despite the guys being sore, there was a lot going against you and then you lose Gary, but did you like the fighting, fighting qualities? Yeah, after the first quarter I did. I thought we were really soft in the first quarter, and then after that the guys dug in. Um, especially the second half of that second quarter and then through the third quarter. Um, really good defensively, some toughness, um, and, and guys stuck together, and we got a sniff, and we just weren't able to uh, capitalize on that. Oh, and last one from me. Um, how are you finding this season? There's, there's not always minutes there for you because you're such a deep team, but it does feel like every time you get out on the court, you're able to make an impact. Is that something that you, you focus on to just, just stay ready? Um, yeah, well, ever since I've been in the league, I've kind of seen myself as kind of a spark guy. Um, obviously, minutes come and go, and I'm just trying to do what's best for the team at this stage of the season. Um, if that's playing 15, 20, if that's cheering on the bench, that's that's what I'm willing to do. Um, just whatever the team needs from me. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to Homicide. Um, haven't seen him, but I'm, I'm excited for him to be in in Australia and uh, really hope you're doing well and all the all the NBL family uh, cares about each other so uh, yeah just want to give you a little heads up